I do, Chris here. So here's a whole bunch of brass shales. And I like these locks. And basically collect them. And these are not just, these aren't the only ones I have. These are just the ones that can kind of fit in the frame. So a long time ago, maybe even before I had my channel, is this the right one? I don't think so. Um, before I had my channel, here we go. I was over at the LA River, which is fairly close to me, and it's, it's a flood control channel, and it's like a concrete channel with slope sides and concrete, but there's also trees growing and down the middle of it. But on a pole with a big, you know, gate, uh, were a bunch of locks. And I looked at them, and one of them was one of these style Yales. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. Um, and they don't use them. I mean, the, the gate was not even functioning anymore, but all the locks were hung on there. And there were some masters, and there were there's a couple of Yales. and So these were all the different agencies who needed to get in there. And uh, so I, I, <laughs> I always remember in, in here... Pocket women in my head, temptation is everywhere. Uh, you know, keep it legal, temptation is everywhere. So I, I was tempted, but what I did instead was kind of look at the Yale. I took a picture of it, and I'll show that at the end of the video. Uh, some of those locks on that post. And I went to eBay and tried to find that lock. And... So that's really where I started collecting locks. Um, and I also thought it would be very cool to collect all the locks that were on the post and learn how to pick them. And the next time I walked by there, I could be kind of satisfied in the knowledge that, well, I could pick those. <laughs> I don't have to, thank goodness. I, I'm keeping it legal. So... But really, the cool thing about it is what is it uh, spawned me into collecting all these cool locks. Now, here's, here's a really cool, big, heavy, all-brass one that has a dust cover. I didn't have a key. I picked it on my channel. It's a Sun Pipeline Company lock. Uh, I didn't have a key for it. And Jeff Moss who is a locksmith and posts on YouTube. He's a great YouTube, um, has a great YouTube channel. He's, he said, I was, I might have just said, oh, maybe I should send it to him because he knows people who impression these. And this is such a nice lock with the dust cover. I thought, well, it'd be nice to have a key for it. So I think I sent him an email or he may have commented on it. And he, he said, well, just send me, you know, close-up pictures of everything. Now, mind you, this lock does not have a key code on it, okay? But yet he, the keeper of a lot of codes and a lot of information on Yales and Bests and a ton of locks, he really has his own database that he and his buddies collect. And he was able to come up by searching this Sun Company, I think, come up with a working key. So I didn't send him the lock, but he worked on it about a week later. He sent me this key. <laughs> I was flabbergasted. Now some of them, you know, a lot of them have these company names, so that's kind of cool to collect those. This one is an Easton Yale in town. Um, and this has a big key code on it. And the DG is the... Um, the keyway and that's one of their master type keyways there's a bunch of different uh, variations of it but most of these keys in these master series <coughs> will fit each other's locks so like I say this one here this one has a cool Pontiac stamp on it and it's got all kinds of code on there and everything and this key works and if you check these two keys out he said if you can get them going the right way 
they're totally different fittings. So one of them is a master. So this one will work. And this one will work. Come here, get in there. And it works. So, and to pick them, they're fun to pick. Sometimes you find mushrooms in them. Um, I like to pick them. I like to rake them, rock them, sock them. No, I don't sock them. So let's see if we can get this guy open. It's heavily mastered, so maybe it would just go, uh, it would just open for us. And maybe not. Maybe tough. So if it doesn't open right away, if you collect a lot of locks, you can just get another one and try that. Let's try this one. I just want to get something open here. And there you go. It's going to be camera shy. No, it's not. So anyway. And a lot of times on these these Yales, and you can see there's different, actually most of these are the same logo, but there's a lot of different logos. There's older logos, and I have more locks that I should show. Um, a bunch older than these. But what I was gonna say is a lot of these, these Yales tend to give it up once you get everybody set, um, and you're close to getting it open, they tend to Open on number three or number four. That one was number four when it finally gave it up. So anyway, I thought that would be interesting to explain why I have so many locks, why I collected where that came from. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Jeff Moss. You are awesome. Check out his channel. He gets locks in you know all month long and about twice a month he'll do he'll show what's coming in what he's collecting what's getting passed through to get um uh, impressioned and what's come back and a lot of really cool rare stuff and he collects and it's an awesome channel anyway thanks for watching leave a comment ask a question we will see you next time